And those two back thrusters I made earlier. The jet ones. Yeah, we don't need those. I'm making right. better ones. Oh. Though I have read that they're, I think they're going to redo the balance to how efficient thrusters are in Alpha 12. Because right now they're kind of confusing and don't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, but uh, I think they're going to keep the same progression. It's just going to be slightly diff. Like they're going to have different. Uh, well, I think they're going to make it more clear as like this one's better than this one as far as it's yeah. more powerful and better efficient than having two of those or something like that. And I remember when we first introduced those those jet thrusters, and I thought, well, does this only work in atmosphere? But they work any. They just work. Yeah, I know. I think eventually they do plan on making Atmo only thrusters, but then they'll be like an early tier. Yeah, that makes sense. Early tier, early game stuff. Oh, and if you can, put more uh, cargo extensions. Um, I'm putting more RCSs, actually. You only need two is, is more than enough. Almost every time I play this game, I mostly just build ships from scratch until I get towards the end when I'm already at level 25 then I can just spawn in my big ship but for SVs and HVs I usually just make something random just, just whatever works for now I do not do that I actually put a lot of hard work into designing every ship that I might also need the larger, if you, haven't, if you haven't done it already, the larger uh, generators and fuel tanks, because I think it still has the tiny ones. That feels like uh, it only had three health, wow. Yeah, where, where are where do you have the fuel tanks and such? There's uh, right down the center, behind the CPU extension. Okay. That's what about the, the generator? I think it's above the core. I think. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, that's that's the one fly I always always have. I always end up putting the core exposed on the bottom. If anything, I'll try to put, expose it at the top because that's where I'm less vulnerable. But not by much. Welcome to Overhaul. Pip my ride. Which I am really good at. <laughs> yes. Eventually I should upgrade these guns to like uh, rail guns and plasma cannons. So I've been doing that with my single player mission. It is so much easier to take things down. Oh, I know. Actually, it's GRG3D's videos. He's really into that. When he, when he finally gets up to his high tier uh, levels, he just blows stuff away with all that.
So half blocks on the top? Okay. Yep, that's what I'm doing on mine as well. And... <sighs> Maybe leave room for shield, but not, uh, not warp. Uh, there will be, uh, I'll be able to put a shield up on top eventually. I, I plan on doing that. Once you have a okay. shield on, you don't really need to worry about the exposed stuff as much. Yeah. And they should forget to turn it on. Oops. Right. I've done that. It's starting to look kind of turtly. Oh, don't worry. It'll it, it'll look nice. Turtle, turtle. See, maybe I'll go ahead and just see if I can button up the space station a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's see, which cargo box would have stuff? Extra parts. Nope, doesn't have the large blocks. Maybe I'll make a whole bunch of just regular steel blocks for the base. As well as upgrade. I'm going to need you to make a lot more of the hardened steel... Uh, there's a lot I just Locks. saw. There's a whole bunch in... For the small vessels. Yes. I just saw some, a whole bunch in extra parts. Box. There's 160 combat steel blocks. Oh, that's for... That's for yeah, that's yeah. for a... Yeah. Okay, steel blocks. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's more There's more extensions in there. And thrusters, too. Oh, and that's for uh, HV. Again, HV. Okay, I'll make some big old blocks. Some hardened steel. How many? Uh, a hundred. I need... Okay. Actually, I could... Okay, I got the small constructor making them. And the large constructor making my bigger blocks. But they're all going to the same constructor. I mean, to the same uh, cargo box. Oh, lost power. Or I turned it off. I didn't press Y. Did you? I may have accidentally. <laughs> I was trying to press something else. Yeah, you used to be able, like, if you're, like, in the situation, like, we're in where there's a bunch of vessels and a CV, whatever vessel you're looking at and you press Y, it'll activate that. Or P, it'll, it'll bring up the control panel for that vessel you're looking at. But not anymore. Uh, while you're in the constructor, can you make one more uh, headlight? There should be one in the... Unless you already grabbed it. Yeah, I need two total. Okay. Okay, it's going to make them after it makes your blocks.
Come on. Why'd you tell it to make a hundred regular steel blocks? Because the small constructor is making your hundred smaller blocks. Okay. Right? So I'm because I'm preparing the base. There blocks? are a hundred small regular steel blocks that just got made up. What? Can the small constructor not make the big ones? I mean the heavy. It should be able to. I think you just clicked the wrong ones. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, it doesn't. Yep, but it backwards. out of steel plate all of a sudden. Yeah, because somebody made up a hundred small steel. <laughs> You gotta stop going into the, the inventory that I'm trying to build with. Well, I'm doing the same thing. I know.
the bottom side of this space station are half blocks. What? It's like the bottom side of the space station is done with half blocks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's double checking. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yep, it just looks like it. I just wasn't exactly sure. I think I have the, sh the space station buttoned up. I need to do another pass with the... Uh, with the debug mode on to see what is and isn't airtight. spot. Yeah, a couple spots I need to patch up still. Alright, where are you right now? Oh, I see you. Huh. This looks familiar, like you built this before. <laughs> I just built a shell around what you already had. It kind of reminds me of one of your SCVs that you did before. I, I don't know. Well, that's because I use a lot of the same block shapes when they tend to work well, you know? Yep. I tried putting a uh, constructor on it, and there's enough room and everything, but there's not enough CPU on it right now. I don't really need it. Yeah, so right now you've got a basic fighter um, that can basically do everything you need fighting.
That's funny. It says there's no ammo, but there's ammo. I'm guessing it means there's none in the box, but you have some on the uh, in the turret or in the guns. Yepers, probably, because uh, you kept two of them on there right here, two or four. All right, now I'm going to do a little work thing on here. Signal. You know, if I removed some RCSs, I could probably add the uh, constructor, but the RCSs make it a lot easier to... Yeah, I'd rather have that than be able to build something. I did get it so that your uh, your ammo capacity is at a thousand, like a thousand uh, units of mass. Oh no. Your ship is combat ready. Don't get this one blown up. Spiffy. Oh, does it have a headlight? No. Yeah, it's got two headlights. Oh, on the sides. Okay. Yep, and they had they shoot they aim forward so that you can actually see a wider forward arc. All right, now back to trying to get my thing fixed. I need uh, to get these CPUs online. I need one more Optronic bridge. In fact, if we could upgrade this, I uh, where's the oxygen uh, station thingy? Uh, should be on the back. Hold on. No, that's just the ammo box the, and the air tanks, but not the dispenser. I may have forgot to put it back. Yeah, because I remember slapping one on there temporarily. Perfect. That's why there was one in the constructor because I'd forgot to put it back on here. <laughs> yeah, because I, I grabbed, I salvaged that off of, off of a SV. Yeah. Planet. All right. So these count as wings? W well, you don't need wings, but I got they RCSs. Will... Yeah. Yeah, you've got RCSs. You've got thrusters all directions. You don't need wings. Uh, but yes, they will count sort of as wings. They're not the best for lift, but because you're made of hardened steel anyway, the lift is going to be neglig negligible. So my ship's white and yours is black. Cool. Yep. And the thing is, yours flies just as fast as mine does yeah, right does. now. Yeah, it's really quick. That's because you have the most powerful small vessel thrusters that can fit uh, that that aren't huge on them. You know the the most powerful uh, one by one by three. Okay, these are the ones that you can't change the shape of, huh? Right. 
But they are better than the... Uh, They're better than the Jet Thrusters? Better than the Jet Thrusters, yep. For now, until they change something. Right, but right now, they provide a lot more thrust than the Jet Thrusters. Whereas mine, I made for quick uh, get in, get out, not combat capable, but with the minimum amount of thrusters necessary, you know. Try, mine is supposed to be reducing the CPU usage and being able to find things. Yours does have a detector on it, but yours is also made specifically for combat. Mine has no cargo, no anything. Okay, I renamed my ship, because it looks like one. No, not that. It still says Fragalot. Really? I changed it to Arrowhead. Yes, but because you're in the ship, it's going to say Fragalot for me, because it renames it the name of the pilot while you're in there. It just says Dart now. Oh, it didn't save. <laughs> Okay, now it worked. All right, so I need to well, first, we need to go ahead and upgrade the thing to a advanced constructor, if you have not already. Nope, I haven't done that because I only had five uh, of the, the donut, golden donut things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, the, why the, are there the, only five? There, there were, were only nine five. in here. I put one in there. The one I had, I put it in there, and there was just five, and it wouldn't let me upgrade. You know, it's possible that's something I used upgrading your ship. You <laughs> no, it was before that. Uh, it was before you went to starting doing that, and I thought, well, I thought maybe because when I was coming back to the ship or to the base, you were on your way back to the planet. Because I, when I put them in there, it was nine. There were nine in there. Now, uh, maybe it's a maybe one year jet thrusters required. No, because I, I built those after I realized I couldn't upgrade the, the thing, and the jet thrusters don't take those. They take the other ones. They take the cobalt alloy, but not the. Yeah, there's still oh, five no, flux. Yeah, there's still five flux coils in there, and I can't make more. There were nine when I can't when I put them in there. That's what I'm saying, though. The the one you put in there should have been ten. Um, there were four or five when I came in. I I think I put the one I had in there, but it was still not enough. I think maybe you put it into another cargo container, Miss. I didn't look. I don't think so. No, I didn't. I know that... I don't know. Maybe something we made required. Yeah, because it was... Th th those five were there when I got back to the ship. After I died and came back and came back to the planet. Oh, you got tons of medicinals on your HV. Oh, I made a couple of CPU extender tier 2s. That's what it was. Ah, uh, okay. But you needed that anyway. Yeah, because I'm going to need those for the uh, tier 3. Alright, let's go uh, drone hunting, I guess, to get more flux coils. Because we can't really do anything until we upgrade the thing anyway. Oh, why did I go this way? <laughs> I docked onto the base. All right, um, let's see. Do you have ammunition to put into your ship? Yeah, I put a little bit in. I got about 300 rounds right now. Okay, then. In that case, let's go back to the moon and see if we can get one of those, uh, uh take out some of those turrets that have capital vessels crashed. Okay, I think I have... Okay, so I just reloaded all six, so I have four left. 
and I need to get oxygen before I uh, suffocate. I need to get those little portable ones. Yeah, those don't work on the moon, though. <laughs> well, I take that back. They do and they don't. It's it's a glitch that you can use them, but... You can't use them to refill your oxygen while you're on the moon? Uh, well, okay. When you put stuff in them, the, the moon does... Okay, what are you talking about? The portable... Just those white... Uh, air cans that you can just click on in your hot. Oh bar. yeah, no, those those are fine. I thought you were talking about like the uh, the generators, the oxygen generators. Oh, those the emergency ones that make water too. Yeah. Okay, my ship does have air. I need to put more air into it though. I'm taking some air with us. Yeah, mine has an O2 has O2 tanks. I just uh, don't have any O2 in. Here, I'll put some in air in your ship. Where you are? I heard you. Come back to this to the there you are. Station? No, come back to this to the spaceship, the CV. Yeah, I was in the station. That's why I was coming over here. Where's your tank? Uh, you'll just have to access it through the control panel. It's it's interior or bottom. I, found, I don't yeah. remember. Okay, you're at 70%. That's all you'll take. Wait, let me take more out. I love the with the number of tanks on this ship, we can just we don't really have to worry about refilling it very often at all. Okay, you're about 70 right now. Okay, yeah, it, it, you can't you see used to one blue oxygen thing would fill up one small tank. Then they added mm -hmm. 50 to the small tank and made it threw off the calculations so it's stupid but you can use uh the emergency oxygen things to uh the small oxygen bottles to refill those as well so i feel like i want to make more ammo this isn't enough once go i go ahead and make yeah. some real quick i will find us the prime target that we need to and then uh we can meet up and you can try to take out the all right. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Actually, that would be a good reason to have a constructor on your SV is to make ammo. But only it could only make up uh, the 15 mil though. Right, and uh, but putting a constructor on your thing throws it over the limit. So That's kind of silly. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're going to redo it, all that. Yeah, it, it only brings it to uh, uh, to like sixteen hundred and f or sixteen thousand five hundred. So it's not that much over. Well, I could slap one on, use it, and take it off. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah, if you just want to carry one around with you or leave it in the cargo box. And then just use the ammo box as the thing and throw, you know... I, I mean, but the, the thing is, why would you carry around the parts for the ammo if you can just make the ammo with the parts and then put them in there? Mm-hmm, yeah. Because I've still got to put everything into the into the uh, ammo box for some of the parts. Yeah. Yeah, I see you made a mobile constructor. Alright. This is not a necessary one. Because this one does not have the... Uh, Capital vessel. We have one ingot of neodymium.
You know, there was one thing I want to build whenever we get around to it is to build three small constructors on a base and those three will let's say we have a giant inventory of, of dirt and rocks and stuff and those three each can make the iron copper and steel and that will feed into the furnace and a furnace will just melt it all into ingots yeah yeah no you can do that i would personally if you can afford it use a uh use advanced constructors for that uh to feed into the furnace because they make it a lot yeah i mean i figured it'd be faster but i'm just i'm not in a big hurry to make them just something to have running in the background and you see i wish they would do something sort of like with factorio where you can just uh have something that'll just make it as long as there is the resources for it so that you know you don't have to keep telling it build more of this build more of this build more of yeah, that would be nice. I, there, there's been fact, times when I wanted to do that, like ammo. There are two things missing from Imperion to allow true automation. One is that allowing it to uh, to build things without you having to click the button to tell it to build it. The second thing is the uh, ability to mine directly into a container and well, like with an auto miner. And they are planning on introducing in, I don't know if it's going to be Alpha 12, 13, 14, whatever, but they are going to be introducing uh, uh, base based auto miner and water gathering. Partly submerged.